I'm Dr. Jason Weistein. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Desert Orthopedic Center, Eisenhower Medical Center. My specialty is joint reconstruction and musculoskeletal oncology. Direct anterior hip replacement is a no muscles technique for performing hip replacement. It's done through the front of the hip uh, in contradistinction to the other approaches that either do it from the side or from the back. I've been doing direct anterior hip replacement for about four years and uh, use it in about 90% of my patients. Not everybody's a candidate. There are some things that exclude patients from getting this procedure, such as size, a large belly, um, or an infection in the groin area. My um, preference nowadays is to do the anterior hip replacement because patients recover faster. They have less um, pain postoperatively. And that's probably a direct result of the fact that the um, approach spares muscles. Every other approach to the hip cuts through muscles. And so it makes common sense that if you injure muscles, those patients are probably going to have more pain postoperatively. The ability to have the patient on their back enables us to take an x-ray of the patient and get really good pictures of what the hip looks like before the patient ever leaves the, the operating room. With the other approaches, to get a very reliable x-ray, the surgeon often has to wait till the patient's in the recovery room. All types of hip replacement have been vastly successful. In fact, there's probably no other surgical procedure that exists that has the success rates of hip replacement. The direct anterior hip replacement is better for a few reasons. One, the dislocation rates are less than the other approaches. Two, patients recover faster. Three, they probably have less pain, which kind of uh, dovetails into the fact that they recover faster. And four, it gives the surgeon the peace of mind that things are usually spot on in terms of leg lengths and offset, offset being the distance that the hip is basically projected out away from the pelvis, which is very important for how the hip functions. And lastly, um, the diminished need for pain medicines. So patients, if they need less pain medicines, they're gonna have less issues like uh, constipation, nausea, um, dizziness, and so on. And that will enable them to participate in physical therapy at a more rapid type of recovery level.